welcome to this episode of DIY3dtech.com. In this episode, we're going to be putting the quick change tool holder on this uh, old Harbor Freight mini lathe. So, uh, as I promised, uh, here we are at the lathe. So, one of the things I want to show you before I got started, here's, here's kind of one of the reasons that uh, uh, I wanted to do this, and sort of a dirty little secret here is, as I mentioned before, I use these cutoffs and that uh, to kind of shim the uh, tool bit up because with this holder it's just kind of a fixed height. Now uh, basically how this holder works is you see you got these three uh, Allen nuts and again you use this wrench to kind of adjust them to tighten down on it. This piece will loosen up and so you can have you know different tools so you can flip around. It's not really productive um, so that's why we're changing it out for the quick change tool holder over here. So to do that, first thing you do is remove this. It just simply screws up. It might be on there a little bit tight if you don't use it a lot. You might have to give it a little tap or coercion with the hammer. Simply unscrew it. We'll set it over here. This, this lifts off. And then what you'll see is there's some dents down there. And there's a little spring-loaded mechanism here. Not a big deal. So I'm just going to set this off to the side. So the next piece we have to do is we have to remove this bolt because what will happen is I believe it's going to be this guy, one of these two, I think this one's eh, too small, but uh, that will actually replace this and go down through this mechanism. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. Okay, so as you saw, basically I took just a set of channel locks, uh, gripped the base of this, and spun it out. So uh, it wasn't that hard. It was in there, but not that bad. Uh, what I've also done is I put some anti-seize compound on this bolt, which will be our bolt. And then I also removed the D-dent. It just pops out. It's uh, sort of spring-loaded. I'm just going to take a paper towel, kind of clean this, just clean the surface off a little bit. Uh, not bad but just want to clean that up a little bit and then what we're going to do is we'll take this and it just sits right on top of here we take the cam mechanism and push it in here make sure it turns because what we want to do is push the pistons out so it seats all the way down and then what we'll do is we'll take this guy and we will just simply bolt him down now, now, as you can see, as I ratchet this, this piston will come in and out. You have to kind of push it. It's not spring-loaded. And then what will happen is uh, we drop this on here, just like this. And we need to square this up. And as I cam this in, it locks this in place. So one of the things we need to do is tighten this up. So I'll have to get an Allen wrench to tighten this guy up. I don't think one for this big came in the package, um, so you probably have to supply your own Allen wrench for this size. Okay, so I got an Allen wrench, I tightened this down, so it's uh, working nice. Now, one of the things I noticed about this, Dave, I think it's Dave M on his channel, he does uh, the, the mini machine shop. Uh, he made a different bushing, but this appears to be a little bit different than his version where this bushing actually bears the load of this and the cam just simply tightens down. Now, what we're doing here is we're actually taking this cutter and aligning it. So one of the things you notice is I have my tailstock in, I've got my live end in here, and you see where the tip is here on the live end? Well, what I want to do is I want to match these two up because these two... Um, should be just perfect and the, what I do is I use the brass knob here as an adjustment now make sure it's not catching on the piston in here and also keep in mind when you tighten it um, it might move a rock a little bit so you might have to do a couple iterations but uh, for general purposes this looks good so now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to hold my brass nut and I'm going to just lock it in with this wrench this uh, piece on the top and now when I lock this in with the piston I gotta tighten this up but when I lock this in with the piston now I'm good to go um, just I need to tighten this up a little bit more so now I'm good to go so now when I want to change this all I do is gotta go like this boom this comes off 
and I can put my new one on here and I'm ready to go start cutting uh, material. So again, I, I'm, I'm really happy so far with this. As you can see up in the corner, I've done some cutting with it. So works really good. And so hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I'm kind of zoomed in. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the uh, subscribe button over this way somewhere uh, with the bell. And then Swag Shop's up in the corner. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we cut some more stuff. Cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.